Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel and if you're streaming from Facebook, then hi, I'm Marinda and welcome to my channel. So today I'm streaming from Facebook, as I said earlier, and also on my YouTube channel. And um, in my YouTube channel, basically it's a lifestyle channel where I share with you tons of tips and tricks about all of my passions, which is fashion, see? very fashionable uh fashion food family and finance i know it might seem odd but it will make total sense if you follow me on my youtube channel so don't hesitate to join me my community if you like the content of this uh, live event and uh, make sure to tell me in the comment section below uh, whatever thing it is that you think of my video so today is day two of my 30 days a vlog challenge that I've thrown for myself, sharing with you ideas, you know, for the my absolute favorite season. Yesterday was the day that I thought about it. I was just sitting around and I was thinking, hey, wouldn't it be nice? It's November 25th, yesterday, of course. It's November 25th and one month away from Christmas. So I wanted to give you daily tips and tricks of stuff that I found um, along the way. So. Today, I'm actually going to talk to you about the gift that I think that it's so, it could be so simple and somehow um, very, very meaningful. It's to go to Build a Bear Workshop. So I, I bought um, this gift certificate from Costco. If you watched my live yesterday, you would know that I'm a huge Costco fan. And if you're a huge Costco fan too, then make sure to type the, in the comment section below. But uh, so I bought a gift certificate from Costco and I took my kids um, to go and get their bears. Like, I think a lot of people would think that going to build a bear workshop or maybe this is just my misconception. It's mostly for kids. So when I took my kids, I took my mom too. she was visiting from Montreal and I took my mom too, and something just kind of like illuminate in my mind. I had this bright idea of like of getting a bear for my mom. Some of you that have been following me or know me because you're streaming from Facebook, you would know this, is that I recently unexpectedly lost my father during COVID-19, like when everything was locked down. It was the most traumatic or unexpected like pain and experience that I've ever lived and um i miss him every day and the one thing that you know i keep thinking about or it's his voice his unique voice so i think about my dad a lot and i realize that i i don't have anything of him to remind me of him and even i was even having a crazy moment where i called Rogers, which is my phone carrier. And I said, I want my voicemail back. I want to retrieve all the voicemail, like all the voicemails that my dad left me. And, and, and of course they said that's impossible to do. And then I, and I, there's this, um, when you call my parents' house, there's this voicemail that um, it's him that talking and I just can't erase it, but I remember recording it. So when I got to build a bear workshop, I saw something. Basically, this is the bear, and my dad is a huge Habs fan. So I kind of saw this first, the shirt, and I thought, oh, that is so my dad. And then I saw like the bear, and then I thought, uh, like, my son wanted to put a sound into, into his Star Wars um, bear. So I thought, oh, can I customize my sound? So like when I was reading the instruction, mainly to do it for my son, I realized that can, you can actually customize a, a sound. See, there's like, you can put a sound in into the bear paw. And um, I happen to have recorded my dad's voice, like the voicemail um, on my phone. So I was able to do it right there. And I was very nervous, like, um, I wanted to do it. I, I asked my mom if she if she wanted a, a bear. I didn't really tell her of my intention, um, and she just she said no, it's okay. And I 
I wasn't sure if she was ready for it or or whatever, but I said, "Oh, why don't you wait outside, you know, with with the kids?" And um, and so I did this. So this was my dad's voice. He has a very, very unique, like this deep voice. And I'm so happy that I, I did this. So I made one for me and I wait, made one for my mom. And my dad's birthday is January 1st. And, and I didn't know if it was too soon to gi give my mom, a, you know, a piece of, of my dad back to, you know, with her. And so I was like, maybe I should just get it and, and find the right timing, maybe the holidays. And then I saw you get to choose the bear. So I saw the happy birthday bear and I thought oh, that would be a great Christmas slash New Year's present for my mom, for her to remember my dad by. And so, um, so of course I couldn't wait and I gave it to her sooner after that I was able to kind of gauge and have a conversation with her and felt like she was ready to have to have a piece of my dad back. So that's what I did. So at Build a Bear Workshop, you can add any sound that you want. I also added, I felt, I felt like very nervous when I was doing this process, you know, like just the thought of doing something so deeply thoughtful to me like that it means so much to me and I was so emotional I kept crying and I'm, I kept telling to the lady I don't know what's wrong with me I'm sorry and she goes don't be sorry you know like she goes it's okay you just lost your dad you know and and I and then she makes I don't know if you can hear you can actually put a heart into the bear and when you press it you can feel the heart beating. Something so simple, something that they're making magical for, for children became something magical to me. This whole experience was so such a good experience for me. Um, and I was so happy to do it for me and for my mom. And she was really, really happy when she got this. So I also, of course, and on top of that, I got um, an extra one. So this bear, I bought it when it says, wish you were here. It's a bear that I had with me the whole time that I lived with my parents. I mean, not the whole time, but at one point when I was able to buy it myself. So it reminded me of my dad. And I also... Oops. So I put his voice in here too, and it's a bear that you can just leave, you know, on your desk. Um, and and yeah, so in my work desk, it's always here with me. And this is my dad. This is also always on my desk. This is him and my son, and this is him and my daughter. And yeah, so holiday season is a time where you gather family together and you share wonderful time and you share a meal, food, food brings family together. And with COVID-19 ramping up again, we're probably going to have to be all separate in our own homes and things like that. But that doesn't mean that we cannot do something like this, have like a meaningful gift. You can always buy it online and you can, you know, send it to your loved ones. And if something that I actually did after learning this lesson of losing my dad is that I'm going to cherish every moment that I have because not that I didn't know it before, but it's just caught me by surprise, caught everyone by surprise. So now I record my mom's voice. I told my, my mom to make little voice note uh, specifically for my son, specifically for my daughter, for me. And I told her, just just say a little personalized message. You know, I didn't really tell her the reason behind it. I said, oh, I'm just going to make a bear like for Christmas. That's what I told her. So you can totally do the same. 
you can think of um, like a very simple message, you know, that you would say to your kids or whatever. Like, I'm so glad that I started my YouTube channel, to be honest, because if my kids ever miss me, they could just go and watch all of my videos and they will have me with them at all time. And so, and so, yeah, so having, doing this simple bear could be so, so meaningful and, and, um, and yeah, so um, just take the time, record a voice, you know, message to your loved ones and uh, put it in the bear. Why not? Right. Uh, on this note, I wanted to share with you also like, like my video that I made to help others, you know, and on my channel is nothing but positivity and support. And I just want to show up for everyone. You know, when they say when you're full, just give back, you know, just give back to people. And I was so hurt and I was so lonely, even though I was with my my whole family, like my husband and stuff. It just feels lonely. And um, I don't want to be emotional, but it feels lonely, especially I couldn't see my friends or anyone. So I wanted to share with you a little piece. This is not to be, you know, be having a sad moment, but let me show you the video that I made. Took all of my courage to make this video, but I really wanted to be supportive uh, with others and, um, and do that. So here we go. Have you ever lost someone that you love the most and that you know that they also loved you the most? I have just recently unexpectedly lost my father and is the most traumatic and painful event that I've ever gone through in my life. Although you feel like giving up, you need to find the strength to go on, not only for the people that depends on you, but for yourself. Because the people that left this world are at peace, leaving us with the grief and the suffering. And sharing my experience can help those of you who are in need of support. As always, I. And I want to show you. How I miss my dad. These kind of stories. Are like in movies. This story. This story can't be mine. This is what I share on Facebook the next day. I woke up this morning hoping to wake up from a bad dream, hoping to see my dad again. This is surreal. This story can't be mine. I'm fighting this feeling of pain, anger and sadness a fight that I'm not able to win at this time, and I surrender. The question of why kept repeating in my head. Getting the support and the messages from my friends was tremendously helpful. Although the messages was not helping me to understand why it did help me to figure out how how i'm gonna get through this how i will get through this tough time and although i know that i can be strong i need to be able to allow myself to feel and to go through the stages of grief. I just want to thank everyone again for all the love and the support 
and for all the messages that we received. It means the world to me and to my family. All the things that I needed to say to him will be said. I will talk to him every day. He is in my heart and will forever be. He is the greatest man that I know. The most generous and loving human being. I will live in his legacy and I will follow his footsteps. My mom is here and I will take care of her in the best possible way that I can. I will not wait to tell her what I need to say to her. I want her to know that I love her and that I am here for her and I'm not going to assume that she knows that. So I'm just going to end it here. You know, I don't want to get too sad, but I think the holiday season would be the time. I think it's Thanksgiving uh, time in the U.S. as well. So I think that during this time, we should reflect and just be grateful and be thankful for what we have and reflect on everything and cherish what we have. And if you're like me and you have lost someone that you love, you would understand that there is no such thing as moving on. It's just how to live your life now, now that your loved one is not with you anymore. So if I can find a piece of my dad back by having this bear that reminds me of him and having his voice with me. So if this is what makes me happy, then so be it. If you can make someone happy by doing that, then then so be it. Make someone happy. Gives back. My my kids still switch around and, you know, is the ones like, who is sleeping with grandpa? They're really, really cherishing this new thing that I've started and really, really like, he lives with us every day. We talk about him every day and he's physically not here with us, but he will be forever in our heart. So find a creative way to to do something meaningful to the people around you so i hope that it's been a good tip for you and that has sparked some ideas for you and and maybe you can surprise someone with just a quick nice message and have a cute bear it doesn't have to be like so sad like mine but but yeah so let me know if you like this tip and this gift idea it's actually um, very reasonable when I went to uh, when I got um, the bears it was actually a promotion of buy one bear and get the other one for like ten dollars or something like that and so so there's always promotion it if it's not during Christmas then it could be when there's a promotion and you know what guys it's Black Friday tomorrow so you might be lucky and there might be something going on so I'm gonna check out now and I hope that um that i gave you some idea and if you are curious about the video then make sure to go and check it out on my youtube channel and so thanks again and i will see you tomorrow and talking to you about another gift idea see you later bye